times India, and 300 times China, the most in the world. We have, after the United States, by far the most companies on NASDAQ, the tech-oriented stock exchange, more than all of Europe combined, plus Korea, Japan, India, China, and that's in absolute terms, not per capita terms. Uh, you can go on and on in terms of the statistics, the you know, number of patents, and so on, but most of the book is really not, not going through all these statistics. What it is, is trying to ask the question and answer the question, why did all this happen here? Why didn't it happen in Korea or Japan or Finland or Singapore? Why haven't they produced quite as many startups as we have? And so, you know, one question we get asked is, you know, who were you to write this book? I mean, I'm not an economist and neither is my co-author Dan Senor, who happens to be my brother-in-law. Yeah, which we don't mention in the book, but it's true. Um, uh, he, Lack of disclosure. Yes. Uh, he comes from the world of business. He has a, an MBA from Harvard. He uh, worked at uh, the Carlyle Group and then started his own private equity firm and uh, has come back and forth to Israel a lot looking for startups and investments. Uh, I come from the world of journalism. I was the editorial page at the editor at the Jerusalem Post, uh, columnist and so on. Uh, so we came at this not as economists, but as <coughs> chroniclers of history and culture, because that's what the story is about. It's about a culture of innovation. And that's what's fascinating, I think, for people from looking from outside. And we just found out that the book is actually a bestseller in Singapore, mm -hmm. which is very interesting, because we... Uh, <laughs> Israelis, I guess, uh, as we talked to people about this book, uh, we interviewed them, and we made, did over 100 interviews. We spent a few hours with, with Shimon Peres, which was an amazing thing, and uh, with Bibi and all kinds of uh, venture capitalists and, and startup people. Um, and one thing that kept coming up is, is what I call uh, Nokia envy, <laughs> which is, um, you know, we have all these startups, but where's our Nokia? Uh, you know, Israeli uh, tech people a lot of times ask that question. And, then, and we also ask ourselves, you know, why aren't we as good as Singapore? They have the highest math scores. They're growing like crazy. They're like the, the kind of the, the most tigerist of the Asian tigers. Uh, so we actually went and talked to people from, uh, we didn't go there, but we talked to people from Finland and Singapore. And it turns out the people in Finland, there's a guy who has a, a, a place called Arctic Startup. And uh, I interviewed him, and it turns out that what well, we're asking, where's our Nokia? They're asking, where are our startups? <laughs> and uh, you know, they, they pointed out that we, they can get nearly as big investments in their startups. They don't have as many startups. And he also pointed out that Israeli startups tend to turn over more quickly, which we think of as a bad thing, and they thought of as a good thing. And the same with Singapore. There are constantly delegations coming here trying to learn from Israel how to become more entrepreneurial. Um, and, uh, and so it makes sense that, that people are interested in the book in Singapore. I want to very quickly tell you uh, one story from the book because it's a, a book mainly of stories. And that is of a guy named Scott Thompson. He's not Jewish, obviously. He's, work, he's the president of a company called PayPal in the United States, which many of you, many of you may have heard of. <laughs> It's the biggest credit card or online transaction company in the world. And Scott Thompson was asked by Benchmark, which is the main investor at eBay, which bought PayPal. The Benchmark is a venture capital fund that is looking you know, very actively in Israel for investments. And they found a little company called Fraud Sciences. And they asked Scott Thompson, because he's the expert on credit card fraud, to check this company out. So, the head of fraud sciences, a very young engineer type named Spot Shaket, uh, came to Scott Thompson's office. And Scott, you know, he's, a, he's the president of a big, very big company. He doesn't have a lot of time for this kind of thing, but he's doing it as a favor to benchmark. So he asked the guy, you know, so what's your big secret? He says, well, it turns out there are two kinds of people in the world. There are good people and there are bad people. <laughs> <laughs> and I was in the army, you know, like everybody else in Israel, and, and we were supposed to, our job was to track terrorists over the internet so we could catch them, and we found out that bad people like terrorists
don't leave traces of themselves on the internet. And good people, they leave plenty of traces all over the place. <laughs> so all we have to do, we look for traces, good people, we don't find traces, bad people, and shalom and shalom. <laughs>